County Schools at Hopton Middle School, 8th grade mathematics. And right now we're in the middle of our EOG and EOC review. I use SchoolNet um, just about every day in my classroom for both an assessment tool at the end of the unit, but also as an assessment tool throughout the unit just for little quick checkups, just to check progress. My main use is test retest sort of program that I have going with my children. I have basically little checkpoints set up throughout the unit. I have tried the flipped classroom and I have video lessons online. The children that I have this year preferred my instruction live and in person. The videos are online for a backup, but I, they seem to get along better when I taught them in person. But I still have those checkups, those online checkups that I use with SchoolNet to assess them. And each little segment of the unit, we have just a little checkpoint before they can proceed to the next part. And I have a second retest, and I keep the highest of the two scores. And SchoolNet is an excellent opportunity because the children can take that quiz and then go back and see how they scored immediately. They get instant reinforcement to know their grade. Then they can go back and find their mistakes, find their um, explanations as to why they missed it. They can explore it with a partner and try again. Um, it has proven successful with my children and it's been a benefit to their parents to go through and find mistakes with them. It's been a benefit to me in checking their progress throughout the school year. And now with us getting ready with the EOG EOC, we have been able to look at setting individual goals for each student based on their strengths and their personal weaknesses, uh, looking back at their own data. Um, I now have little mini assessments set up for all of the goals and strands that we have in our curriculum for both Math 1 and Math 8. And the children are doing what they specifically need themselves instead of having to do just a lot of work that, that maybe they don't need to do. But it's just a sign because the class is having to do it. Everybody's working on their own specific individual needs. Another trick that I have, my children just taught me a week ago, is two kids can log into the same computer um, using their own personal logins, take their own personal quizzes using one computer. So if you're having limited resources and issues trying to find computers to use at your school, you know, it won't work if you're giving a test, but if you're just doing group work or just teamwork and partner activities, the children can log in separate names, separate quizzes, same computer, and work together, and each child can get their own personal grade. And the neat thing is it goes right straight to your grade book. If you've got it linked to your grade book, it cuts down on your end of the work. It cuts down on the time that it takes for the children to get their grade, and parents automatically know what's going on in your class because they can just find out. So it's instant information to the parents. So it's a win-win situation for everyone. You might have a little bit more work at the front end of your preparation. That's just all in good planning. I am a, I'm a strong advocate for SchoolNet. It's a great tool, great resource. I'm all for it.